All right, for our last step here, what we're gonna to try to do is add in an asteroid belt. Now the asteroids kind of vary in size and shape. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit of change in that, a little bit of vary um, in their motion. Um, nothing too complex here. This is our first assignment. So what we're gonna do is just get the idea of an asteroid belt um, with some variety into it uh, to give us something to work with. So what we're gonna do is start by going up to the top view and scrolling out, make sure we have a nice view of our sun. And our asteroid belt is gonna go between Mars and Jupiter. So we're gonna to go to create NURBS primitive circle. We're gonna choose scale and scale it up to somewhere in between. You want to keep it a, a nice even distance probably between the two. There. Next thing we're going to want to do is emit our particles from the NURB circle itself. So again, still in the dynamics, we're going to go to particles, emit from object, and options. Now, First thing we want to change is our emitter type, and we're going to change this to a curve. And there's a couple other settings that we have in here. Nothing we're really going to worry about right now. We're just going to create and have our particles uh, created right there. If you notice, our emitter has come inside, and then we have the particle 2 on the outside. So we're going to select our particle shape. We're going to go to the render attributes. Again, change this to spheres. Set the current render type. And we're going to leave the rest alone. We're going to set that at about 0.5. Could come down, set up Mars. Sorry. and kind of scale in here so we can get a view of the belt as we make it. Not really a point in looking at the belt yet because there's nothing on there, but it'll give us a sense of where we are in location. So if you look at Mars on the one side, you'll have their particles on the other. So we're gonna select our emitter one and we're gonna add a dynamics attribute to it so we're going to go to um, attributes. We're going to go to, sorry, we're going to go to general. We're going to change and add in our different parts. So we're going to scroll down here and add our dynamic attributes. Click general. And we're going to want to find our radius PP. And our radius PP is going to be underneath our particle system. Let me scroll down here. I'm going to choose radius PP there and click OK. Now, if you notice, in our per particle array, which is what PP stands for, we now have the radius PP function. If we click in the box, we can right click and create an expression. Now, I know this isn't something we've done yet, but stay with me and we'll be as long as you write what we go with here, you should be fine. All right, so we're going to type in particle shape. We're going to have the particle shape um, here. And copy and paste that down here. We are going to equal rand for random and then parentheses 0 0.1 comma space 0 0.1 
in parentheses. We're going to click create and then we're going to close. We're going to rewind back to the beginning and we play. And we notice that our particles are shooting off into space. So what we need to do is control these by putting them within a field. So let's escape to stop. Rewind back to the beginning. We're going to select our NURB circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to fields, volume curve, and that's going to create a volume access field. You can see this line that is following along. Now we're also going to select the particle two. So we have both of these selected and we're going to go to fields, affect selected objects. Now what that will do is it will control where these go. So let's rewind and play. Now you can see they're starting to move along the lines, but they are still shooting out. So we need to constrain these a little bit more. So what we can do is rewind it back once again, go into the uh, volume access attributes here, and we can take our trap inside and turn this up to one. By turning it up to one, it is fully trapping these with inside of its own bounds. So let's rewind that back. And you can see we are now moving along our paths, but there are still a few that are shooting out and kind of going crazy. So again, we're gonna have to stop and we're gonna wanna control these a little bit more. So we're gonna click on our particle two. We're gonna go to the attributes for particle shape two, the general control and we're going to want to go to conserve to zero. This is going to put more control on what we have. So we're going to rewind and hit play. And now if you notice, we are nicely falling along. Now again, this isn't a fantastic asteroid belt, but it's give us an idea of following perfectly along this belt with a little bit of variety, mixing up the size and shape a little bit. So what we're going to want to do to continue to make this a little more interesting is we're going to want to up the uh, turbulence here. So we're going to stop. Rewind it back. And up our turbulence, which is going to be... So we're going to up our turbulence, which is in the volume axis field and it is down towards the bottom here so you can come under, under volume speed attributes uh, move the turbulence up some just to get a sense you can rewind back hit play and you can see we're starting to get a little more interesting movement here a little too much i think so we're going to stop back that down you know 0.5 is always a good starting point add just a little bit of something to our variety here. And now what this is really doing, it doesn't make it for a great animation, but when we take a still, we will have a nice scattered array of these asteroids in the background, and it'll look pretty natural, um, you know, a little clustered together at the moment, but those are things that we could uh, change and move. Now once you've got a nice set of particles, make sure you stop and then you're going to want to again select your particle. We're going to go to solvers, initial state, set for selected, and once again delete your emitter one. And now we have these kind of jump out here first time. We have some moving, bouncing, turbulating asteroids to go with the rest of our solar system. So we're going to come here, we're going to focus out on the sun. We're going to go to a nice uh, perspective view. You can see we've got a really scattered asteroid belt. Now, if I remember correctly, I jumped up over here 
which added a nice look to Jupiter. A couple other planets moving by. You can see that was, I think that was uh, Mars. So let's see if we can get Mars to embed on the surface of the sun there to create a nice image. Then we'll take a render. And there you have it. Not exactly perfect, not exactly. I probably ran the particles too long to get too many asteroids. Probably could have flattened them out and done a few more things with it. But again, the idea here was for your first project to introduce you to a little bit of everything uh, within Maya. So I hope you've learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed um, these tutorials. And I will see you next week. Thank you very much.